So I'm building this course on advanced TypeScript for Boolean art and one lesson that I was looking forward to recording was how to do proper array filtering on union types. Turns out the smart hacks that people are using are not going to be required in the next version of TypeScript because of a modification of how the compiler does inference. So let's take a look. To demonstrate the issue that we're talking about, consider an array that consists of a mix of items, for example, strings and nulls, and here the inferred type of the array will be an array of string or null. Let's carry out a simple task, for example, filter in just the strings in this array and then convert them to uppercase. And at this point, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this code and it will work perfectly fine. However, TypeScript will complain. And if you hover over the error, you can see that TypeScript is complaining that item might still be null. And the reason is that the filter function has not narrowed its input array and the output array type returned by the filter function is the same as the input array type that is an array of string or null. Now there are lots of fixes for this and a quick one that you can do without sort of hacking into the TypeScript compiler's definitions is to take on the responsibility of figuring out what the filter function is doing and tell the compiler that if this predicate returns true, then item should be inferred to be of type string. Now type predicates is also something that we cover in our professional TypeScript course. With this simple fix, the error goes away. Now an issue with this approach is that if you take on this responsibility of annotating the predicate return type yourself, the compiler trusts you to do the right thing and if you make a mistake, the compiler will not have your back. So what if the compiler was smart enough to detect that a function is actually a type predicate by looking at the function body and great minds think alike, that is exactly the fix that is coming into TypeScript. So here I have TypeScript 5.4 on the left and TypeScript 5.5, which is yet to be released on the right. And I have this simple predicate function that takes a value that might be string or null and then returns true if the type of the value is string. Now up till TypeScript 5.4, the return type of such a function is actually inferred to be a boolean. And that is exactly what we see when we hover over a string. However, in the next version of TypeScript, it will actually be inferred as a type predicate. So when we hover over a string, we can see that the return type is inferred to be value is string, which means that this is a type predicate and not just a simple Boolean function. This means that if you go back to the original example, you can see that TypeScript 5.4 will complain because of course, the inferred type of the filter predicate is just return boolean and the types aren't getting narrowed. In TypeScript 5.5, when we paste the same code, it works perfectly fine because the inferred return type of that filter predicate is value is string and therefore within the map, item is guaranteed to be of type string. I think this is a big improvement in TypeScript's type inference. This is the sort of area that gets me most excited where we need to learn less things in order to do more. As always, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.